In this video, we're diving into a topic that's incredibly important for living a fulfilling and happy life. Boosting self-confidence and self-esteem. Self-confidence and self-esteem. These terms get thrown around a lot, but what do they really mean? Simply put, self-confidence is your belief in your abilities and decisions, while self-esteem is your overall sense of self-worth or personal value. These two are like the foundation of a house. They support everything else in your life. Whether it's your relationships, career or personal growth, having a solid base of self-confidence and self-esteem is key. But why are they so crucial? Well, imagine trying to achieve your goals or form meaningful relationships when you constantly doubt yourself. It's tough, right? Low self-confidence and self-esteem can hold you back from living your best life. That's why today, we're going to explore practical tips and strategies to help you build and boost your self-confidence and self-esteem. I remember a time when I struggled with my own self-confidence. There was a point where I doubted every decision I made, and it really impacted my happiness and success. But through a lot of learning and growth, I discovered some powerful techniques that transformed my mindset. And now, I want to share these with you. Did you know that studies show people with higher self-esteem and self-confidence are more likely to be successful in their careers and have better mental health. Incredible, right? So, if you're ready to boost your self-confidence and self-esteem, you're in the right place. Make sure to watch till the end, because I've got some amazing tips and exercises that you can start using right away. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button, share with your friends, and subscribe to our channel for more awesome content. All right, let's get started on this journey to a more confident and self-assured you. First, let's break down what self-confidence and self-esteem really are and why they matter. Now that we've introduced the importance of self-confidence and self-esteem, let's dive deeper into understanding what these terms really mean and why they are so crucial for our overall well-being. First up, let's talk about self-confidence. Self-confidence is all about having trust in your own abilities, decisions and judgments. It's the feeling that you can rely on yourself and face challenges head-on. Imagine you're about to give a presentation. If you're confident, you believe you've prepared well, you know your stuff, and you can handle any questions that come your way. Self-confidence is that inner assurance that you've got what it takes. But self-confidence isn't just about specific skills or tasks. It's also about your overall attitude towards life. Confident people tend to approach situations with a positive mindset. They're more willing to take risks, and they're not afraid of failure. Why? because they believe in their ability to bounce back and learn from their experiences. Now let's move on to self-esteem. Self-esteem is your overall sense of self-worth. It's how you value and perceive yourself as a person. Unlike self-confidence, which can vary depending on the situation, self-esteem is more stable. It's your inner belief that you are valuable, deserving of love, and capable of achieving great things. High self-esteem means you have a positive view of yourself. You accept your strengths and weaknesses, and you don't let negative feedback or setbacks define your worth. On the other hand, low self-esteem can make you feel like you're not good enough, and it can lead to self-doubt and a fear of trying new things. Both self-confidence and self-esteem are crucial for a healthy, fulfilling life. They influence how we interact with others, how we pursue our goals, and how we handle life's ups and downs. When you have a good balance of both, you're more resilient, more motivated, and generally happier. Think of self-confidence and self-esteem as two sides of the same coin. Self-confidence is about, can I do this? While self-esteem is about, am I worthy? Both need to be nurtured to build a strong, positive self-image. When they work together, they create a powerful foundation for success and happiness. Now that we've explored what self-confidence and self-esteem are, and why they're important, it's time to dig a little deeper. Understanding the root causes of low self-confidence and self-esteem is crucial because it helps us address these issues at their core. There are several common factors that can contribute to low self-confidence and self-esteem. Let's break down some of the most significant ones. First, childhood experiences play a major role. How we were treated by our parents, teachers and peers can deeply influence our self-perception. If you grew up with constant criticism or high expectations, you might develop self-doubt and a fear of failure. On the other hand, supportive and nurturing environments can foster a strong sense of self-worth. Another big factor is social comparison. In today's digital age, 
it's easy to compare ourselves to others, especially on social media. Seeing curated highlights of other people's lives can make us feel inadequate or less successful. Remember, we often compare our behind the scenes with someone else's highlight reel, which isn't a fair comparison. Next, let's talk about the critical inner voice. We all have that little voice in our heads that sometimes tells us we're not good enough or that we'll never succeed. This inner critic can stem from past experiences, societal pressures, or even our own perfectionism. Learning to recognize and challenge this voice is key to improving self-confidence and self-esteem. Media influence also plays a significant role. The portrayal of ideal beauty, success, and lifestyle standards can create unrealistic expectations. When we constantly see these perfect images, it's easy to feel like we don't measure up. It's important to remember that these images are often edited and staged to look perfect. Understanding these root causes is the first step towards change. By identifying where our low self-confidence and self-esteem come from, we can begin to address these issues more effectively. It's a process of self-discovery and healing. Here are a few tips to help you identify your own root causes. Start by reflecting on your past experiences and how they've shaped your self-view. Journaling can be a great way to process these thoughts. Consider talking to a therapist who can provide valuable insights and guidance. Mindfulness exercises can also help you become more aware of your inner critic and how to manage it. Remember, everyone's journey is unique, and it's okay to take your time to understand and work through these factors. The goal is to build a foundation of self-awareness that will help you boost your self-confidence and self-esteem. Now that we've identified the root causes of low self-confidence, it's time to focus on actionable strategies to boost it. Building self-confidence is a journey, and today I'll share some effective techniques that you can start using right away. First up, set achievable goals. Setting small, realistic goals can provide a sense of accomplishment and gradually build your confidence. Start with something manageable and gradually increase the difficulty as you achieve each goal. For example, if you want to get better at public speaking, start by practicing in front of a mirror, then with a small group of friends, and eventually in larger settings. Next, practice positive self-talk. Our thoughts have a powerful impact on our confidence. Instead of focusing on your weaknesses or mistakes, remind yourself of your strengths and past successes. Use affirmations like, I am capable, I am worthy, and I can handle this. Make it a habit to speak kindly to yourself, just as you would to a friend. Self-compassion is another key strategy. Treat yourself with the same kindness and understanding you would offer to a loved one. We all make mistakes and face setbacks, and that's okay. Instead of beating yourself up, acknowledge your feelings, learn from the experience, and move forward. Self-compassion helps you build resilience and maintain your confidence even during tough times. Learning new skills is a fantastic way to boost self-confidence. When you step out of your comfort zone and acquire new abilities, you prove to yourself that you can handle challenges and grow. Whether it's taking a cooking class, learning a new language or picking up a musical instrument, each new skill you master builds your confidence and broadens your horizons. Surround yourself with positive influences. The people you spend time with can significantly impact your confidence. Seek out friends, mentors and colleagues who support and encourage you. Positive relationships provide a safe space to express yourself, receive constructive feedback, and celebrate your successes. Maintaining a healthy lifestyle is crucial. Physical well-being and mental well-being are deeply connected. Regular exercise, a balanced diet, and sufficient sleep can all contribute to better self-confidence. When you take care of your body, you feel more energized, focused, and ready to tackle challenges. Remember, boosting self-confidence isn't about overnight transformations. It's about consistent practice and gradual improvement. Celebrate your progress no matter how small and keep pushing yourself to grow. Each step you take builds a stronger foundation of confidence. Now that we've explored strategies to boost self-confidence, it's time to focus on improving self-esteem. Remember, self-esteem is your overall sense of self-worth and nurturing it is essential for a happy, fulfilling life. Today, I'll share some effective strategies to help you enhance your self-esteem. First, Recognize your worth. Start by acknowledging your strengths and accomplishments. Make a list of things you're proud of, no matter how small they may seem. Reflect on your positive qualities and the impact you've made in your life and others. 
This practice helps you shift your focus from what you lack to what you already possess. Gratitude journaling is a powerful tool. Each day, write down three things you're grateful for. This simple practice helps you focus on the positive aspects of your life and reinforces a sense of appreciation for yourself and your achievements. Over time, gratitude can significantly boost your self-esteem. Surround yourself with positive influences. The people you spend time with can greatly affect how you feel about yourself. Seek out friends and family who uplift and support you. Engage with communities and groups that share your interests and values. Positive relationships provide encouragement, validation, and a sense of belonging. Practice self-care regularly. Taking care of your physical, emotional, and mental well-being is crucial for self-esteem. Engage in activities that make you feel good, whether it's exercising, meditating, reading, or simply taking a relaxing bath. Prioritize your needs and make time for yourself because you deserve it. Set and achieve personal goals. Setting realistic and meaningful goals gives you a sense of direction and purpose. Break down your goals into manageable steps and celebrate each milestone. Achieving your goals, no matter how small, boosts your confidence and reinforces your sense of self-worth. Learn to say no and set healthy boundaries. Respecting your own limits and not overcommitting yourself is essential for maintaining self-esteem. Saying no when necessary and setting boundaries protects your time, energy and well-being. It's a way of valuing yourself and your needs. Seek professional help if needed. Sometimes, improving self-esteem requires guidance from a therapist or counsellor. Professional help can provide valuable insights, coping strategies and support as you work through deeper issues affecting your self-worth. There's no shame in seeking help. It's a step towards healing and growth. Remember, improving self-esteem is a journey, not a destination. It requires patience, consistency and self-compassion. Celebrate your progress no matter how small and keep working towards a healthier self-view. We've covered strategies to boost your self-confidence and self-esteem, but what happens when you face setbacks or challenges? Overcoming obstacles is a crucial part of maintaining your self-confidence and self-esteem. Today, I'll share some effective strategies to help you stay resilient and keep moving forward. First, let's talk about dealing with setbacks. Everyone experiences failure at some point, and it's completely normal. Instead of letting setbacks define you, view them as opportunities to learn and grow. Ask yourself, what can I learn from this experience? And how can I improve next time? Remember, every successful person has faced failure and used it as a stepping stone to success. Resilience is key. When you encounter a setback, take a moment to acknowledge your feelings, but don't dwell on them. Focus on your strengths and past achievements to remind yourself that you're capable of overcoming challenges. Building resilience takes practice, but each time you bounce back, you strengthen your confidence and self-esteem. Handling criticism can be tough, but it's an essential skill. There are two types of criticism, constructive and destructive. Constructive criticism is meant to help you improve and grow, while destructive criticism aims to tear you down. Learn to differentiate between the two and focus on the constructive feedback. Use it to make positive changes and ignore the negative, unhelpful comments. Remember, criticism is about the work, not your worth as a person. Embrace a growth mindset where you see feedback as a tool for development rather than a personal attack. This perspective helps you stay open to learning and prevents negative comments from damaging your self-esteem. Practicing self-care is essential during challenging times. When you're facing difficulties, it's crucial to take care of your physical, emotional and mental well-being. Engage in activities that relax and recharge you, such as meditation, exercise or spending time with loved ones. Prioritizing self-care helps you maintain a balanced perspective and keeps your confidence and self-esteem intact. Mindfulness and relaxation techniques can also be very effective. Practices like deep breathing, meditation and yoga help reduce stress and increase your ability to cope with challenges. By staying present and focused, you can better manage your emotions and respond to setbacks in a constructive way. Seek support when needed. Don't be afraid to reach out to friends, family or professionals for help. Talking about your challenges with someone you trust can provide new perspectives and emotional support. Sometimes, 
Just knowing that someone is there for you can make a huge difference in how you handle difficulties. Overcoming challenges is a vital part of the journey to maintaining self-confidence and self-esteem. Remember, it's not about avoiding obstacles, but learning how to navigate through them. Each challenge you overcome makes you stronger and more resilient. We've talked about understanding self-confidence and self-esteem, identifying root causes and strategies to boost both. Now, it's time to get practical. In this section, I'll share some effective exercises you can do to build your self-confidence and self-esteem. Let's dive right in. First, let's start with daily affirmations. Positive affirmations are powerful tools for reshaping your mindset. Choose a few affirmations that resonate with you and repeat them daily. You can say them out loud, write them down, or even place sticky notes around your home as reminders. For example, affirmations like, I am capable, I am worthy, and I can achieve my goals can reinforce a positive self-image. Next, try journaling. There are two types of journaling that can be particularly beneficial, gratitude journaling and reflective journaling. In a gratitude journal, write down three things you're grateful for each day. This practice shifts your focus to the positive aspects of your life. Reflective journaling involves writing about your experiences, thoughts and feelings. This helps you process emotions and gain insights into your behavior and self-worth. Mindfulness exercises can significantly enhance self-awareness and self-acceptance. Practices like meditation, deep breathing and mindful walking help you stay present and reduce stress. Start with just a few minutes a day and gradually increase the duration. Mindfulness helps you connect with your inner self and cultivate a sense of peace and confidence. Engaging in physical activities is another great way to boost your self-esteem. Exercise releases endorphins, which improve your mood and energy levels. Whether it's yoga, running, dancing or a group fitness class, find an activity you enjoy and make it a regular part of your routine. Physical activity not only strengthens your body, but also enhances your mental well-being. Setting and achieving small goals can provide a sense of accomplishment and boost your confidence. Break your larger goals into smaller, manageable steps. For instance, if you want to learn a new skill, set a goal to practice for 10 minutes a day. Celebrate each milestone you reach. This builds momentum and reinforces your belief in your abilities. Practice self-compassion. Be kind to yourself, especially when things don't go as planned. Treat yourself with the same kindness and understanding you would offer to a friend. When you make a mistake, remind yourself that it's part of being human and an opportunity to learn. Self-compassion helps you maintain a healthy self-esteem even during challenging times. Visualization is a powerful technique for building self-confidence. Spend a few minutes each day visualizing yourself succeeding in your goals. Imagine how it feels to achieve your aspirations and embody the confidence you desire. Visualization helps create a mental image of success, making it easier to realize your goals in reality. These practical exercises are designed to help you build and maintain self-confidence and self-esteem. Remember, consistency is key. Incorporate these exercises into your daily routine and be patient with yourself as you grow. We've explored many strategies and exercises to boost your self-confidence and self-esteem, but sometimes the most inspiring way to learn is through real-life examples. Today, I'll share some powerful testimonials and stories from people who have successfully transformed their lives by building their confidence and self-esteem. First, let's meet Sarah. Sarah struggled with low self-esteem for years, feeling inadequate and constantly doubting her abilities. Let's hear her story. I used to doubt myself all the time, feeling like I was never good enough. It affected my work, my relationships, and my overall happiness. But then I started practicing daily affirmations and setting small, achievable goals. Over time, I began to see myself in a new light. I realized that I'm capable and deserving of success. Now I'm more confident in both my personal and professional life. Sarah's journey shows us the power of small, consistent changes. Next, let's hear from James, who found that physical activity and mindfulness were key to building his self-esteem. I was always self-conscious about my appearance and abilities. It held me back from trying new things and meeting new people. One day I decided to start running, and it was a game changer. The physical activity boosted my mood and energy, and it gave me a sense of accomplishment. I also began meditating, which helped me manage stress and stay present. 
These practices transformed my self-esteem and opened up new opportunities in my life. James's story highlights the importance of physical and mental well-being in building confidence. Now, let's hear from Maria, who used self-compassion and positive relationships to turn her life around. I used to be my own worst critic, always focusing on my flaws and mistakes. It was exhausting and draining. I decided to practice self-compassion, treating myself with the same kindness I showed others. I also surrounded myself with positive, supportive people who uplifted me. These changes made a huge difference. I started to see my worth and believe in my abilities. Now, I'm kinder to myself and more confident in everything I do. Maria's experience teaches us the value of self-compassion and positive relationships. These real-life examples show that no matter where you start, you can make meaningful changes to boost your confidence and self-esteem. We've covered a lot of ground on boosting self-confidence and self-esteem. To continue your journey, it's essential to have access to additional resources and further reading. Today, I'll share some valuable books, websites, and other materials that can help you deepen your understanding and keep you motivated. First, let's talk about books. Reading can provide in-depth insights and practical advice. Here are some highly recommended books on self-confidence and self-esteem. The Confidence Code by Katty Kay and Claire Shipman. This book explores the science and art of self-assurance and offers practical advice for building confidence in every aspect of life. Self-Compassion by Dr. Kristin Neff. Dr. Neff provides a powerful guide on how to be kind to yourself, overcome self-criticism, and build a more compassionate relationship with yourself. Mindset. The New Psychology of Success by Carol S. Dweck. This book delves into the concept of a growth mindset and how embracing it can lead to greater confidence and success. Next, let's look at some helpful websites and online resources. The website Psychology Today offers a wealth of articles and resources on self-confidence, self-esteem and mental health. It's a great place to find expert advice and research-based insights. TED Talks are another fantastic resource Talks like Amy Cuddy's Your Body Language May Shape Who You Are and Brené Brown's The Power of Vulnerability provide powerful perspectives on confidence and self-worth. The Mindful website offers articles, guided meditations and tips on mindfulness practices that can enhance your self-awareness and self-acceptance. Don't forget about podcasts. Listening to podcasts can be a convenient way to gain new insights and stay inspired. Here are a few recommendations the Confidence Podcast by Trish Blackwell offers practical tips and inspiring stories to help you build confidence in all areas of your life. Unlocking Us with Brené Brown explores themes of vulnerability, courage and self-worth with expert guests and thought-provoking discussions. Remember, local libraries and bookstores are also great resources. You can find many of these books and other materials there, and librarians can often recommend additional resources based on your interests. These resources are just the beginning. Exploring different materials and perspectives can provide you with the tools and inspiration to continue building your self-confidence and self-esteem. Take advantage of these books, websites and podcasts to support your personal growth journey. As we wrap up this journey on boosting self-confidence and self-esteem, I want to leave you with some final thoughts and encouragement. Remember, Building self-confidence and self-esteem is a continuous process, and every step you take is a step towards a more empowered and fulfilling life. Let's quickly recap what we've covered. Understanding the difference between self-confidence and self-esteem, identifying the root causes of low self-esteem, and learning various strategies and practical exercises to boost both. We've also heard inspiring real-life examples and provided resources for further reading and growth. It's important to remember that everyone's journey is unique. Progress may be slow at times and setbacks are part of the process. Be patient and kind to yourself as you work towards your goals. Celebrate your small victories and keep pushing forward. Remember these key takeaways. Believe in your worth. Practice self-compassion. Surround yourself with positive influences and stay committed to your growth. Every effort you make contributes to a stronger, more confident you. Thank you for joining me on this journey. I hope you found the tips and strategies helpful and that you feel inspired to take action. Your self-confidence and self-esteem are within your control and you have the power to shape them. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, 
and don't forget to subscribe for more content on personal growth and empowerment. Let's continue this journey together, and remember, you are capable, you are worthy, and you are enough.